Okay, so in this web dev tip, I'm going to introduce you to a library that I found called Animate on Scroll. And it's quite useful and you've probably seen something like this before, uh, but essentially it allows you to have elements on the page that when they scroll into view or when the user scrolls them into view, uh, they have a particular effect applied to them. So uh, it could be a fade or a flip or a zoom or something like that. Uh, and as you scroll through the page, those elements appear into view using that particular effect. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can actually get started with it really quickly because it is quite simple. Uh, so imagine we've got a page and it's got some elements on the there that we want to actually uh, fade in as we go down the page. Uh, then this will be our template and here's a mark up here on the left hand side. So what we need to do is we actually need to install this animate on scroll library, put in the CSS, initialize the JavaScript because it uses JavaScript to trigger when the user is actually in the right place. Uh, and then just apply the effects that we want to each of these blocks. Okay, so on your terminal, all you need to do is just install uh, the animate and scroll library. So it's just AOS. So with your npm in command, just install that. And once that's done, we can head on over to our SAS file and import that. Here, if you're just using plain CSS, that should be fine too. You just need to find the where the uh, CSS file for animate on scroll, which holds all of the transitions and animations is kept. So in your node modules, find the AOS folder, and then there's a distribution folder and you've got AOS.CSS. So let's import that and that will make sure all of those transitions are available for us. And so in the JavaScript on your page, uh, we just need to import the AOS uh, from the node module package that we just installed. If you don't have your project set up to use modules for imports and exports, for example, uh, you can literally just use the uh, JS file that's included uh, within the AOS package. And there are some instructions for how to do that on the GitHub page as well. Uh, but I'm going to import it like so. And then all we need to do is say AOS init. And you can pass in options when you initialize uh, animate on scroll as well. Uh, so for example, we can set the duration. I'm just going to set the duration to be uh, two seconds, uh, just so you can see the animations uh, fade in. You probably wouldn't want that to be that long if you're actually using this on a site, uh, but just to get us started, uh, we'll initialize it there. So once that's done, uh, we can literally just go over to the uh, div elements that we want to fade in. And you'll notice on the demo that I showed you at the start, uh, you've just got these data attributes and they've got a name uh, and you literally just apply those to the elements that you want the transitions to apply to. So let's start with block two, for example. So when we scroll that one into view on the page, uh, we'll set its data AOS attribute, uh, let's say one that we've got on the page there now, fade up right, save that. And if we go back to our example template that we had, if we scroll down uh, to block two, you can see it faded in from the right uh, really slowly. Uh, and it should just fade out as well as we scroll past it. And if you just go back down again, you can see it fading in again. Uh, so it's literally just a case at this point then of just going and picking out the type of effects that you like and then applying it to the blocks that you've got on the page or any other element that you want to apply it to. So data AOS, let's put this one as uh, flip left. Go back to our template. And if you scroll down to block three, you should see that one flipping in based off of that data attribute that we've just applied to the element. So simple as that, that's it. All you need to do is install the package, get the JavaScript or CSS files, depending on how your project's set up, and then literally just apply those data attributes and then you get those effects coming when a user scrolls to a certain part of the page. So hopefully you find that useful and use it in another project. Stay tuned for more dev tips.